Um, Kevin, let's talk this through. Um, sure. This is the big concern, that if the wage con inflation continues, that that is going to be something that pushes the Fed to continue to raise rates to try and fight the inflation. Where, where do you think we stand right now? How big of a problem is this? You know, I think there's a pretty high risk of a big surprise on the upside today, that if I look back at the third quarter, you know, there are a whole bunch of things that surprised me in markets uh, that involved a lot of strength in the economy. And so a strong jobs report with strong wage growth is going to put a lot of pressure on the Fed to keep hiking rates at a higher rate than they've currently signaled. And so I think that if you combine that on the upside with the fact that on the downside, in terms of taking pressure off the Fed, we've had some very positive inflation reports, then, you know, I think the only safe bet is being long volatility as you look at Fed meetings for the next few months. Because, you know, there's positive news on inflation, but, you know, the, the economy seems almost to be overheating all of a sudden. And, and that's really going to put a lot of pressure on the Fed. But I think today we're likely to see sort of more signs of the overheating part, which is going to be probably a positive for, for interest rates uh, levels, you know, not a positive for bonds. What, what number on average hourly earnings would concern you? I think last month was a hot number, hotter than expected, 0.6%. Yeah, I think that something that stays right about there uh, is something that will have a big effect. And, and it's something, <clears throat> excuse me, Becky, it's, it's something that's really important to, to lay out to the people who, who don't uh, do economics for a living, that, that what happens when prices start to go down is that they go down to wage inflation. Price inflation goes down to wage inflation. And then it kind of stays there because if firms lower prices below that, then wages are up higher than prices and they lose money. And, and so what has to happen for inflation to go back to two is prices and wages have to kind of march down together. Usually the way that happens is you get higher unemployment, and so that eases off the wage inflation. But there's only like two scenarios this year, really. One is that prices go below wages, in which case earnings go way off for equities. And the other is that they go together. Uh, and, uh, you know, if they go together, then there's, there's a happy ending. Uh, but, you know, my, my view is that, that we're going to see some pretty bad earning shocks if we win the inflation battle. And if we don't win the inflation battle, then the Fed's going to have to hike a lot more. So I'm very nervous about the equity outlook for 2023. I guess what's so different this time around is the strength of, of the labor market. There, there's just right. so much demand for, for, for workers and not enough to be found. Right. And, and don't forget that it's kind of like the real wage that's the cost to the firm of keeping the person around, which is the wage after inflation. And since prices have gone up more than, than wages, uh, over the last year, then what that means is it's actually cheaper to keep your workers around. And that's one reason why we haven't seen uh, layoffs. And so, you know, what the Fed's hoping to do is push price inflation down and wage inflation down and get everything sort of headed in the right direction and then sort of hold off and, and hope the momentum continues. And I think today's jobs report is really going to be one of the crucial things uh, that we look at, like maybe even looking back at economic history, because we had this puzzling strength in the fourth quarter. Uh, and inflation going down at the same time. And so I guess the question is, does the strength continue or not? If we get a weak report, then it's much more consistent with the inflation signals we're seeing. And that would be, I think, cause for a massive celebration on Wall Street today.